For all updates on cat prep, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Hi, welcome to Bodhi Prep and my name is Brajesh. So here, here we have a very, very good video that shows how you can improve your vocabulary through crossword. So crosswords are like puzzles in which we give you hints and by combining plenty of hints, you can actually find the meaning of the word. Now, the reason why it is so interesting is because when you use these kind of clues, you start scratching your head and you start thinking. And this whole process helps you remember the word for a longer period of time. That's the reason why instead of just memorizing words from the dictionary, you can try these kind of things so that you remember the word better and longer. Correct? And how how is vocabulary important for MBA entrance tests or for any other entrance? entrance tests. You'll find that most of the time the words that are used, they are used in context. So when you read reading comprehension passages or para jumbles or you are solving direct vocabulary equations, this, this, this kind of things can really help uh, in improving your comprehension and getting the right answer. So without wasting time, let's have a look at, uh, at, at this puzzle here. You see that this is a crossword puzzle. There are around uh, 10 words here and uh, so in all, we have 10 words, so 8 on the in the downside and, and uh, 4 in the across side. So, so let me explain how it works. For example, if you have a down word, so the down word looks like this, that uh, number 1. So number 1 down word would be here. So this is the down word, correct? So this word, one. so it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 7 different letters or 7 characters. And uh, the third character is S and the last character is E. So this is the hint basically. And the word will uh, will end with E. So, so if you refer to a dash of something, you mean that there is a large amount of it. So what exactly that thing is? This is what the question says. So you have to start thinking that what could that thing be? And uh, similarly, if you look at the seventh, so seventh is an across. So seventh says if you dash something, you get a lot of enjoyment from it. So what could it be? So there are one, two, three, four, five, six words in it. So if you dash something, you, you get a lot of enjoyment from it. So what is that word that has second uh, letter as E? And so you, you start thinking, you start, you start scratching your head, you start recalling or mining your memory. And that way, the word remains in your memory for a longer period of time, right? So this can be a real fun-filled way of learning vocabulary. You can pause the video here. You can solve the entire puzzle and then look at the look at the solutions. So I would, I would not take much time. I would just try to give you clues as to how to arrive at the answer. So let's take the fifth one, correct? If you see here, the fifth one says, someone who is noisy, Someone who is dash is noisy, lively, and full of energy. So the fifth word, which is across. So I will. Someone who is dash is noisy, lively, and full of. So the fifth across says that you have a word dash. So this this is the word, correct? And uh, boisterous is the word. So someone who is noisy, lively, and full of energy is boisterous. In fact, the word is b o i s t e r. O U S. So the word boisterous means noisy and difficult to control. Noisy or uh, difficult uh, to control. Now you might wonder how this word is used. For example, if 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 uh, fifth grade students uh, from a school are going for a picnic, then then the bus in which uh, they all are together. Uh, it would not be a quiet place. It would be a it would be full of noise and fun, right? And full of energy. So boisterousness is usually used uh, for a group of uh, people or children who are basically making noise and are full of energy. So it's it's like a collection of people or children coming together and making lots of noise and are difficult to control actually. So boisterousness is characteristic of teenage youth. You know, they, when they come together, they make lots and lots of fuss. So that is how we use the word boisterous. So the fifth one is done, correct? So from this you get to know that the third word which goes down, it says third word. So this can be used now to find the meaning of the third word. It says if you describe someone's actions as dash, you mean that they are determined to continue with something even if it becomes difficult or dangerous. So when someone is determined to continue, even if that thing is difficult or dangerous, then how that person is. Now, <clears throat> you know that uh, in cricket matches we use the word dogged. So when someone is dogged, so the word is D-O-G-G-E-D. -G -G -E so 
this is the word so dogged basically means someone who is who is putting up a very very strong fight so you are determined so for example uh, the soldiers who are fighting on the border uh, they are fighting with the enemy and in spite of being on the losing side they are putting up a very very good show or they are putting putting up a very very good defense you would call it as a dogged defense in fact when batsmen are playing cricket or test cricket and when they are facing top class bowlers and they are defending strongly the commentators say that it's a dogged defense so dogged basically means something that is being done with great determination so dogged defense is what we got from third down so this becomes two we, we have two different words from it now uh, from this if you if you look at the ninth one so ninth one now you can arrive because you have almost uh, 50% of the words correct <coughs> ninth says dash is the state of having a lot of money or a high standard of living correct so dash is the state of having a lot of money or a high standard of living so what can it be so it says here that uh, you have f and so affluence is the word a f f l u n affluence correct oh sorry e it should be e so let me just erase it affluence correct a f f l u E N C E affluence, correct? This is how it is. So when you have the word affluent, so some people are born in affluent family. So when you have affluent family, it is a family in which you have plenty of wealth. In fact, an affluent family would be very wealthy, influential. So if you, so dash is the state of having lot of money or high standard of living, affluent or affluence. So affluent is an adjective and affluence is a noun. and here it's the state so we are we, we we are expected to put the noun so this also becomes very much clear because the word perfectly fits in now we will go to some other ones so uh, what do we have now so second one from so second down we can we can we can try this one if someone or something dash somewhere or if you dash them they become unsteady so you know ppple so topple is the word here so uh, the batting order collapsed so topple basically means t o p p l e topple so topple means to to uh, to throw something to make something unsteady or unstable so if someone or something topples somewhere so so for example if you are walking and you topple uh, over something you become unsteady for a while so toppling is is what the word is i think it's pretty much straight forward there is no need to discuss much about this word you know how it topples correct so fifth ninth second third it is becoming easier now so the fourth one the fourth one is down it says the dash of something is the beginning of it the dash of something is the beginning of it used especially to refer to something unpleasant so the dash of something is the beginning of it now if you look at this word here the word starts with four because it refers to the dash of something and it is the beginning of something so uh, the word is onset so the word onset is used negatively in fact uh, the onset of the covid 19 pandemic that's the right way of expressing why because the onset word is used particularly for something unpleasant if something is unpleasant undesirable then that is the onset the onset of the first world war the onset of the pandemic so all these things are undesirable that's the reason why the word onset makes sense so you have almost finished this and this looks very simple because we have three words given from the start itself the sixth down let's have a look at the sixth down it says if someone dash money from you so the moment you see this you know that it is the answer if someone dash money from you they get it from you using force so if someone is extorting money you know extortion racket so when someone extorts money from you so e x t o r t extortion so if someone extorts money from you uh, you know what it means so you are using threat or force or other illegal means by which you try to get money out of people's pocket right so extortion is the word here so we are almost done let's go to the eighth one the eighth one has has uh, five four words it seems right four words from the bottom so if something such as cloth or rope dash or if something dash it is it it threats or fibers start to come apart now this is not a very common word but the word is free the word free is used often Uh, to indicate some sort of coming apart of thread or fibers so if you have a cloth and the cloth comes apart because of use then you would say that the fabric has frayed in fact the word fray is used for fabric only so here 
uh, it says so i will i will just read it again it says if something such as such as cloth or rope dash or if something dash it is it threads or fibers start to come apart so it frays correct so you can say that my jeans have frayed or uh, uh, the cloth has frayed or the fabric has frayed correct so f r a y so we have done the eighth one here in fact the eighth one is done so this also is correct this is this is what we have done so extortion is done so almost we have we have finished this quiz there are only just two or three words remaining the so tenth one is across so look at this one now it says dash is loyalty to a person organization or so though that is that dash is loyalty to a person so look at this word now it starts with f and it ends with ty now automatically you will find that we have the word infidel infidel is the word used in islam to those who are unbelievers that means the ones who don't believe <coughs> in in uh, in the presence of god in in the in the presence of god or the ones who don't believe in the existence of god that is the right way the ones who don't believe in the existence of god are called as infidels so if you are an infidel you don't believe in the existence of god so if you are a fiddle that means you believe in the existence of god so a fiddle is a believer similarly fidelity becomes what i call as loyalty to a person organization or a set of belief so that is how you have fidelity that's the word from the 10th one and the seventh one it says if you dash something you get a lot of enjoyment from it if you relish something correct r e l i s h so you relish something you enjoy something you relish uh, let's say you relish uh, pizza or or a burger so you relish means you enjoy something so the first one now so the last one if you refer to a dash of something you mean that there is a large amount of it so this can be a difficult one because uh, you may not be able to remember the word and secondly it it becomes difficult because the end is given but the start word is not known to us the answer is cascade in fact a cascade of something is too much of something so you can say that i went to shrinagar in the winters and there was a cascade of snow cascade of snow basically means a huge collection of something similarly people say cascading it came cascading down so when something comes cascading down it accumulates lots of things with it so the snow uh, came cascading down from the top of the mountain so it's not that a small piece a small set a small amount of snow is coming as the snow comes from the top of the mountain it is collecting more and more snow so basically a cascade of something is a huge amount of something that makes sense correct so there is how you have the whole thing now the point here is that once you have gone through this uh, this uh, this crossword puzzle and you and you remember the words it's quite possible that the word would be remembered for a longer period of time because you have given thought to it and that is how we have the exercise so if you like if you have liked this exercise please uh, please please press the like button and subscribe to the channel and do recommend this to others as well thank you